uncles are here, mom and dad are here, sister, brother. Holy <laughs> jumping, we've got a fan ball here tonight. That was fantastic for the 21 year old. He's got his first shot on net, picked up by Fiala, who wrapped it around on the rebound try. One of the few that didn't even go all the way over to Australia, but he made such a great impression in camp, and there he is. McCarr able to slip away from Lewis, moving on for Taves. Here is Devon Taves. He'll leave it at the line as he answered for Drouin. Taves with Roy behind for Rampton and kicked it to his stick, chipped to the front. McKinnon scores! Rampton into McKinnon for the first goal for the Avalanche this year. Yeah, and you can see the work in the corner. Devon Taves starts things off, but then that puck just gets bounced in the corner. So you're going to get an assist from Drew, and he was the one that poked it over to Rantanen, who plays it beautifully over there to McKinnon, who goes against the grain. I thought he was going to go high to the glove side from my angle, but he goes the other way and beats Cam Talbot cleanly on the stick side. You guys, I mean, not everybody on the ice got involved with that play because it was McCarr that initiated that breakout. Duran steps out of the ice as Roy opens it up far side and it's spin move from Moore. Trying to drop it off short side. Georgiev's got his left leg down next to that post. The puck's still loose. It's not covered yet. Steve Kazari was right there with a good look at it. Now the whistle comes. But they're 0 for 2 on the power play here in the first period. Avalanche won. Kings nothing first game of the year. Dustin Brown retiring a few years ago. Lewis spent the last two years in Calgary. Yeah, reunited with. Here's a chance for McKinnon. Save. Talbot rebound. Squeaked through, but went wide. Great opportunities here. Not one, but two right there. And this second one, that was a little old school by Talbot. He's looking towards one way. It ends up going between his legs. He's looking to his left. It goes back to the right. He's an assistant for Doug Armstrong in St. Louis. You've got Luke is in the building. Rob Blake is the GM. Only the Bruins had more stars in their building tonight. That was Came off of the skates of the referee, Steve Kazari. It's flipped ahead from Colton, hoping for Wood. Instead, this is Dowdy. Through Dowdy. Trying to go coast to coast. Dowdy backhand kicked away by Georgiev. A good save on the backhand. A hard shot to Reed. Or gets caught up, and here's the play by Dowdy on the backhand there. That. I and mean, that's what you know that smooth stride just coming in sees the opening Ooh. gets a backhand almost Gotta Gets just over top of the pad of Georgiev there the AT&T five Four forwards out there Ryan Johansson Nathan McKinnon Miko Rantanen and Arturi Lekkinen the Kings work on this penalty kill that was a problem for them last year Rantanen bumps it out McKinnon had to move it in a hurry behind the back right to McCarr step shoot scores Kale McCarr has his first, and it comes on the power play. With the ability to shoot the puck from the point, but Rantanen was the player that entered the zone. Quick little backhand pass, and Kale McCarr, I thought, was going to fire it right away. He does it. He buys a little bit of time. Johansson's in front of the net, and Talbot just cannot find this puck, and you can see why. It's so just great fake, quick delay by McCarr to drag it in and then release. Some nice tra traffic in front. Part of what Colorado, right? That harder to play against. The physicality in front. McKinnon ranted and all alone in the middle, and he dished it off for Taves, and the shot was deflected by Fiala. Ranted and scores! It's a three-point night for Miko Ranton and a 3-0 lead for Colorado. 55 goals last year, 42 of them at even strength for Ranton. And this line has started off very well. Another entry, the Kings have got to back up because there's... You know, it's a one-on-one -on -one play, but Dowdy's got to respect McKinnon, and now it's the entry into the zone. Look at Talbot has slid from one post to the other, never really got his footing, got basically flat on the goal line and a reverse VH, and there's loads of room up there. There are loads of room up there. But that's just also an example of that patience that Rantanen has, where you're not rushing it. You just... well, the Drouin shot was deflected over top of the net. Jack Johnson has to... Hurry up to get to that puck before Grunstrom wiping out this Manson. So was Johnson, and they score! Both Avalanche defensemen went down. Grunstrom was alone in front of the net, and the Kings are on the board. But, but Grunstrom gets in on the four check, finishes his hit, and then as the puck goes down the boards, Deno, who takes that spot on the, on the fourth line, comes in and supports. And you can see that Jack Johnson gets taken down, lands right on his pants right there. And then a quick play in front. Well, Brunstrom just recognizes right after the hit, he can beat him. To that yeah, which was outside of the post. 
Bouncing puck in the slot. Save Georgiev on Fiala. And the puck lifted off the glass but stays in play. And you can see right there in the corner, a two-on-one on Dubois. The stick ends up being broken there. But there's the play by Fiala. He tries to go to the forehand. Manson broke his stick with a hit on Kempe. Colorado trying to get it out of the zone. Manson without a stick. Here's Kempe. Save Georgiev. And he'll hang on. Georgiev has been rock solid in that net. And the last chance Kempe gets the, the quality chance. And Gerard had tried to make a soft pass. Actually, he got a rough penalty himself. As McKinnon to the front, and they stopped it on the doorstep. That one went wide. Talbot never saw it, and then Lekin and put it right off his leg pad. And uh, also, Jack, brother, is a good hockey player. And Alex. At that one point, it looked like the Kings might have a three on one, but it was Makar on D for the Avalanche that covers so much ground and stepped up to the blue line. Bouncing puck, Jorgiev knocked it down, and they score! A satellite face-off with less than 10 seconds remaining, and the Kings bring him within one before the end of the period. By any stretch of the imagination, but you're right, face-off at center ice, a high flip in, a perfect one with a little bit of spin on it. Right there by Kopitar, the golfer. And there it is off the stick of Makar. It never gets to Kempe. And it's in the net behind Georgiev, who now has no chance. He's going down to his right. It goes off the stick of his defenseman, changes direction. And the officials put it back at center ice. That was the reason for that face off at center ice. So Quinton Byfield gets credit for the goal that makes it a one goal contest here as we start the third. First three goals tonight for Colorado. Across the ice, Fiala. The corner for Kempe. Taves on him. Kempe able to make the pass to Fiala. Down low. A chance for Dubois in front. Kopitar can't get it home. Rimmed around to Fiala. And they set their franchise record at 26.8%. Great year on the power play. Last year, looking for their first this year. And Georgiev got his left skate played on that one from Deneau. This one sent ahead. McKinnon trying to win a race, and he will. Beats out the icing amidst the pressure from Gavrikov. Granted it in a battle there with Anderson. Anderson taken down. Here's McCarr across the ice for Jack Johnson. With a wrist shot, scores! Miko Rantanen! His fourth point tonight on the tip down beats Cam Talbot. Of the goaltender, Georgiev. And then look at this change of events with McKinnon hunting down the puck, Jennifer. But look at that strength by McKinnon to make sure he wins the race. But then the physicality here by Ranton to be strong on the puck, eventually win the battle to maintain possession, and then the shot from the point. But that's established. Oh, yeah. That drawing shot. Dubois was able to shed the hit. LaFerriere shot blocked by Ross Colton. Again. Centering feed, and Georgia oh, made the save on LaFerriere. Puck available for Byron to come in down the boards. Down to Chuskin. Pushed into the wall by Roy. Jumped off him. Walked to the crease. Save made. Rebound alive and cleaned up by Roy out of the crease. Two good chances for Nachuskin as he came out of the corner unmarked. Yeah, but Colorado's doing a really good job of coming to the short side post. Driving hard to the net. And it's creating a, a lot of loose pucks there by Cam Talbot. Turned over at the line, catching Colorado in a change. Lazat looks off the bar. Blake Lazat with a sneaky snapshot, six stick side on Georgiev. A chance for Lazat. Georgiev just got a piece before the clock. Question for Colorado is how much can they use Georgiev with an empty net here for LA? A chance for Miles Wood to put it away. His first as a member of the Colorado Avalanche grows the lead to three. It's a time if you can get some sustained pressure and keep the puck in the offensive zone. But one little poke of the puck right there, and it, and it looked like the Kings were going to get back to it with Kempe. But this play right here, what a dive. What a play. I mean, Colton's had a great game, guys. Definitely. On the PK, he's been outstanding. And this is just desire and effort right there to really cap off a road win for the Colorado Avalanche at this point. One last rush for L.A. Blake Lazat taken to the corner by Jack Johnson. And the Colorado Avalanche get their first win of the season, 5-2.
over Los Angeles.